Hey guys, today's another beautiful day here in Melbourne. We're scoring some really nice weather. Cool, but sunny. Mostly sunny, and uh, I'm taking advantage of that today with a little yard work. Every day there's gonna be yard work in June, July, and uh, even August. So, today I did the uh, the guava here, gave it a, a little prune, the pineapple guava. As you can see. I gave it a big prune back in uh, uh, spring. You can prune these anytime. They're very um, um, forgiving. So, did that one. So basically I just opened a, a space here in the middle in between the main branches there's two trunks and uh, there are the cuttings so you can see I opened it up even more than what it was to begin with see that and uh, at some point I'm gonna do the top as well you don't want these guys to be over seven feet that is you don't want them over 2.2 meters the feijoba the pineapple guava I'm talking about and coming here through to the front yard I also did the uh, hedges along the the driveway so got one fajoba here right there All right basically I took from underneath always go under 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 I don't like things touching the ground see that I don't like stuff touching the ground so two big ones at the bottom and about five or six little ones on the sides there yeah this is the other fejoa did the same likewise right so small cuts like that one there small cut small cut small cut and a few more small cuts and then huge cut right down there look at that look at that cut very big yeah you don't want it this one here was shooting like out to here right underneath the uh, the lime tree which is ridiculous if that's what you like of course you can tailor it to your own um, style but I like um, trees to be more in a vertical vase or vase shape so now it's uh, got a nice shape I want it to go up 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 I don't mind these ones here in the front to go to three meters unlike the one at the back which is around two and a half meters more of more of a hedge over the fence and then next to it uh, I did the lime the uh, West Indies lime we call it in Australia key lime in the States and I got rid of a lot of cuts a lot of sharp, small branches on the bottom see they were touching the ground guys like I said I don't like any um, growth uh, coming and just dropping there and sitting down there on the on the ground I don't like that some some of you do and that's cool I cleaned up inside as well cleaned up cleaned up cleaned up cleaned up and I just opened it up in the middle 
yeah there's always more there's always more to do as well this one is very thorny very prickly the um the west indian lime got a lime here on it these are small unlike the regular limes got another one here which came off one of the cuttings so we can take it in the house extremely thorny tree that's about as big as they get the key lime in Australia it's called West Indian lime so that's basically the lime there doesn't look like much but it's a lot it's basically a quarter of the tree I took off and here's the uh, Suriname cherry not very much and again from the bottom guys from the bottom I opened up the bottom right see the shape I don't want any growth down at the bottom here or any um, leaves or fruit I want them to be mid height at my belly belly height belly and above not down to my toes it's faded now pitanga it's been here about um, I've had it for about six years five years in the ground I put these in when they were a year old and this one here is the newest uh, fejoa I have or uh, pineapple guava a slightly different variety I'm not sure which variety it is but uh, this fruited for the first time um, last month didn't have many maybe five little fruit and uh, gave that a bit of a trim as well underneath just cleared up underneath not much just that very little So, there it is there. So that's what we do in winter. Winter, but check it out. Check out winter here in uh, Southern Australia, Southeast Australia. Huh? How's that? Beautiful. Might even go to the beach today. We're definitely going tomorrow definitely going tomorrow and the day after it's gonna be like 17 lovely gorgeous today it's 15 Celsius very nice still have a lot of pruning to do this uh, white sapoti which I believe is the uh, lemon gold gave this a small trim a few days ago to get a central branch look at this it's like a look how bushy it is huh look how bushy it is definitely needs to be thinned out and it's getting all these uh, um, flowers all over oh. come on guys come on come on come on nope yeah there you are look at that all over every branch like it's um, spring I love it a new growth look look at that for winter how's that for winter does that look like winter does that look like winter yeah so gonna give this a bit of a trim as well I'm yet to do the um, plums this huge plum here um, green gauge and I gotta do this one here too the uh, Coes, Coes plum or the uh, yellow golden um, gauge so a bit more pruning coming up there yep all these deciduous trees need to be um, topped and there's a bit more work there to do as well this is my oldest plum tree there Japanese plum that needs to be worked on as well and down there we've got a cherry tree 
that needs to be uh, trimmed as well, pruned, pruned hard. Right? Look at that. 4.5 meters in height. There's no way you'll get the fruit up there. So why do we prune? Why do we trim? To reach the fruit, guys. To reach the fruit. It's huge. And the same with this cherry. Right? This one's around three and a half meters. Also needs pruning. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, got something from it. And please come back for more. There's a lot more to show. There's our loquats. Not many loquats this year, unless they're coming late. Not much at all. But they're going to be um, slightly pruned too. Look at that. Winter loquats. Yeah. So I'll be there's a few, bit of fruit there. There you go. Not much. Not much at all. Every year is different. Last year, the last two years were a bonanza of low quads. All right, guys. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to uh, share these videos with your um, growing buddies. And we'll see you from the next video. Thanks, guys.